We study ion channels, which are the elements of electrical excitability in cells like nerve cells and heart cells. Ion channels allow the propagation of electrical impulses from one cell to another through the heart, which creates the wave of excitation from, what, from essentially uh, one end of the heart to the other. Within each cell, those electrical impulses give rise to the changes that allow calcium to be released inside each cell, and that triggers the contraction event that allows the heart to pump blood. And so when these ion channels that we study are disrupted, the, there is a delay in the propagation of that wave. And then there are even, there is re-entry of some of those waves. It's not going in, a, in the direction it's supposed to. It's coming back on itself. It creates a very dangerous condition known as ventricular fibrillation, where the heart is no longer pumping and it's just kind of quivering. And now the blood does not get pumped to the brain and uh, syncope or fainting results and sudden cardiac death can also result. Work in my lab some time ago set the foundation for safety tests that are now mandated by the FDA to ensure that drugs in development do not block these channels and cause sudden cardiac death. There were several drugs um, that were associated with sudden cardiac death before we knew we understood this mechanism. And um, those were pulled off the market. And now we understand that those drugs and almost all the others that were causing sudden cardiac death have a single mechanism, and that is the block of the Herg channels that we study.